I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. That's a cool memento of our secret cabin in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like... A job interview. <laughs> All right. I'm allowed to go out now. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! I'm glad they get along so Choo -choo. good. Daniel's oh, definitely the ideal grandson. We have to! We're late on schedule! Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Daniel seems so happy to be here. Good. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire is waiting for us. Look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. Daniel, <sighs> breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me a pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! Ah, <laughs> oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. 
Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, yeah, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. <laughs> Daniel's going nuts in here. It's already been a week since we got here. Is it... <sighs> Shh. 
shoot. I don't know. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can, well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after... Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but... That's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I... I really don't know what to think. He needs a... Uh... Doctor, or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel, and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is uh, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run. That won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to... Ah, oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! 
There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. <sighs> Jeez. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but why are we playing this game? Huh? As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Gotcha. Hmm. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Hey, um, have you seen Daniel? He's hiding somewhere. <laughs> Running away from chores. I can relate. Sorry, Sean, he's, he's not in here. I swear. <sighs> yeah, well. Thanks. Oh. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. Good. He deserves to be spoiled. Where the hell is he hiding? Man. I miss that dirty little dog. So much more than I thought I would. It's been locked ever since we got here. And I kind of don't give a fuck. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. I know you're in there. Gotcha! What the? Behind you! Yeah, very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water?
All right. Time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Come on, man. I put all your toys in the trash, dude. Of course not. But next time you bail on me, maybe I will. I don't remember much from the last time I came here. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. <sighs> I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. in your drawing. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I need to observe more before I can actually draw. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Pretty good, but I can add more details if I want. <sighs> Time to take the pen, dude. I tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Our dirty clothes are in the bathroom, obviously. Jeez. I told him about leaving his toys around. I hope we won't get Claire and Steven into trouble. Get it over with.
How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. I'm so ready. Shit! Got you. Seriously, man. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> okay. Time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! So good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Uh, right? Oh, oh. <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. <sighs> of course. Sean, look! Yeah, uh, we did. Uh, it looks like you're okay, though. You were almost floating. I, I was, I was. I could feel myself in the air. It, it was awesome. That t-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. So cool. I've got the Chibi Power Bear. The talking one. No, no one can defeat, can defeat justice. justice. <laughs> Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Uh, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Um, yeah. Uh, but not for long. We're just passing by. Uh, I see. Oh, geez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later. Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? I know you only wanted to help, but it's too dangerous for both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Rules are born. Yeah, 
but it'll be worse than boring if we get busted out here. Come on, Daniel. Steven already saw you using your powers. <laughs> Fine. I'll be careful. I'll never help anybody again. Okay? Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time. Okay? <laughs> Fuck. That kid never listens. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Okay, let's get this Brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Single dad family. Way too close to home. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean?
I don't know, something cool like El Diez Blo Loco. Mm, sounds like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me, who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things, as thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah! Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Careful. It may be tricky. You sure? Look closely. Look closely. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Careful. It may... Okay. How did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay. Let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit. The good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So... Who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell. Uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway.
Well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> I bet. There's no stopping him from building things. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Well, the flying fortress needs fixing now. Yeah, that sucks. Dad couldn't fix it yesterday. He was not feeling well. He told me he'll do it when we're back from the market. Um, Chris? It's none of my business, but... Did something happen between you and your dad yesterday? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know, um... Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire is always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris... I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But... You'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good, thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well. I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything, but don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. 
I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! Ugh. You coming, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? <laughs> of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. <sighs> okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. Sure. I'm fine for now. Got all the supplies in my truck, so don't worry. Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. Hope you're doing well. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Hey, um, can I get one of these bears? Sure. Our best seller this year. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now before Claire and Steven come back. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry. I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. No, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man. That sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, 
Your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Better not get involved, man. This guy... Doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Whoa. So the guy who painted cool. that How do I must have been seriously high. <laughs> Ridiculous. Whoa. The guy who painted that must have been seriously high. <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. You're lost. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought.
Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! But anyway... Got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> he's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. You two seem to get along well. <laughs> I mean... You really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris <laughs> deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah. They have their problems, too. Uh, sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah. We should get you two home. Uh, don't... Keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. He was disappointed. Of course he was. You lied to him. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me if you don't want to. 
Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. The door's still locked. I just don't get why they will find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Locked door. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Dude, hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Clothes, old stuff, <sighs> definitely no hidden key. Sean, hurry up! <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? Yeah, not much to see in here. Sharp objects. <laughs> bit like Claire. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. I saw Grandma coming out the room yesterday. Did you see where she put the key? Whoa. I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew, are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute, but still, no key here. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. What was Claire doing in that room? Maybe she put the key in her pocket. We have to get into that room before they come back. Yep, it's empty. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can. so long I can't find the key Daniel then search better <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine yes I found one key so it better fit just try it. Wow. There's 
There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Ulysses. Okay, Daniel. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. Why would they remove all the pictures? Because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing, too. I've never seen any picture of Mom in our home. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well... A cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just... Stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? We were just looking. For answers. And, uh... Was it worth stealing my key? Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us, but you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. 
Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel.
today. Sorry. Uh, wish we could. You better come back. Hold on a second. Here. This is your cape. You're the real superhero. Thanks, Triss. That's super cool. Like you. Daniel, let's go! Take the troll forest shortcut. It's right through there. Nobody will find you. Chris? <sighs> you rock. Goodbye, Captain Spirit. See you around, Super Wolf. The Spirit Squad will stay united forever. Whoa! I feel like a, a fate superhero. Chris was so sad when he found out that... He had to find out anyway, before he did something dangerous. I know. I just feel sorry for him. Don't be. No matter what happened, I think you guys will always be friends. I hope. Sean... I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and Listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, eh, Nano? For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Whoa! It's super cute. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard.
So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. <laughs> I'll show you around. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.